Hey, what's up, ladies and gents? Uh, five Pack back again tonight. We're going to talk a little night baseball for all the DFS players out there. Never hesitate to click the thumbs up button, and let's jump right into it today. Yeah, let's get it a little late for us because we covered the morning baseball slate. We had, did NBA, and now we are just getting this as our last video of the day. Yeah. We, in hindsight, we could have skipped the day slate, but you want to know what? Yep. How are we supposed to know it was going to rain like that? Yeah, exactly. So it is what it is said it before we'll say again we're not weathermen i can't i can't guarantee that's gonna happen no we are not all right guys uh quick shout out to our friends over at drafters and more importantly a quick shout out to new drafters player mike sims been a five pat member for a long time finally got him to come over and start playing with us and now that we got him once he plays every day guys because it's fun it's a good time and for the rest of y'all that have joined the drafters group let's get some drafts in let's go win some money come play at drafters you will have fun yeah, let's get it, man. Excited to get one, if not later this afternoon, tomorrow. Yes, sir. Weekly and monthly memberships available at the website. Welcome aboard to all the new customers yesterday. Subscribe to the station if you're new to it. And let's talk about pitching. So there's no two ways around it. The pitching on today's slate is not great. Uh, I don't even love Walker Bueller, But this, to me, comes down to the fact that, like, where else are you going to find two pitchers from? What else are you going to put into your roster today and feel – comfortable and confident in two pitchers i don't think bueller is going to give you one of his monster upside games today but he's such a good pitcher that even in a you know not ideal matchup it's not the worst matchup in the books and i'm sure he will do just fine yeah i agree there's obviously another pitcher on the slate getting a lot of love with bueller they both both make sense we wanted to talk over bueller because he feels like the safer option facing a right-handed heavy cardinals lineup I mean, listen, we don't love Bueller in this spot, but he's by far the best pitcher on the slate. And it's a matter of just eating the price point, which is pretty easy with how DK prices some of these hitters. Yeah, way too many cheap hitters these days. Easy to afford them. Uh, again, he's a good bet for 15 plus because he's a good bet for 15 plus every time he walks out of the mound. Amen. All right, next up, let's talk about cash game players. And I'm going to take a look at Nate Lowe of the Texas Rangers. If you're playing GPPs, we're calling Fade City on Texas. However, if you're a cash game player, let's eat some chalk on this one. And my favorite one's going to be Nate Lowe. Don't love the other guys at first base. He's really, really affordable, 3,700. He has good power. He's very cheap. And he's going to be obscenely chalky today in Cruz Field. Yeah, he's going to be really popular as part of that Ranger stack that's getting a lot of love facing a. Mediocre Sensatella in cores, like you mentioned, very affordable. Talked about, you know, affordable hitters to be able to afford, you know, to be able to uh, get Kershaw on your, or not Kershaw, Bueller in your lineup. Well, Nate Lowe is the perfect example. 3,700, it can clean up in cores and cash games, just plug them in and move on. Next up, uh, you're calling another day for Quinn Frazier. Big night for him last night. Yeah, so I'm going with two traditional teams that aren't going to get much love today. And Frazier, you know, always good against left handed pitching. Big time walk off homer last night, like you mentioned. Dirt cheap, twenty four hundred. He's got big power at this price point. Not having the greatest year, but we know this kid can hit. We've seen it in the past. I like the Yankees as a sleeper stack. He'll probably be hitting towards the bottom of that lineup because that's just where he's been lately, and that'll just really lower his ownership. So, as a cheap one off or in a stack, I like him a lot. Next up, cover boy for the day, and I figured we had to bring him up because we haven't brought up Kyle Tucker in at least three days. So I figured it was uh, it, we were due for some Kyle Tucker love. Uh, as far as the Astros go today, they got about two hitters that are getting love, and mostly it's because their price is way down. Now we're not really interested in stacking against Nick Pavetta, who has proved to be a he's not a great pitcher, but he's an above average pitcher having a nice season. Tucker, on the other hand, is only 3,500. He comes with monster upside every single day because of the power and speed combination. He's also a hot hitter right now. He's going to be relatively popular today. Uh, probably not overwhelming chalk, but chalky enough, I think you can play him any format. Yeah, for sure. I mean, he's a guy that we like a lot because he's got good power upside. He runs a lot. He's like, you know, does the DK, he does the things DK rewards. Don't want to like all out stack against Pavetta, but Houston's good. They can get to anyone. Pavetta is not an elite ace, so. Certainly don't mind a couple bats against him, and Tucker's at the top of the list, given his price tag. Uh, our boy Adolis Garcia is 5K today, right? Is he? I didn't even see that. I think so. So, like, the guy that we've been clamoring to get his price up all year finally got his price up. Well, I think Kyle Tucker is next on that list that DK is going to get the memo here pretty quick, and he's going to be above 4K within next week is my guess. For sure. All right, next up, Hunter Renfro, the flip side of this uh, Astros-Red Sox game. So... Oftentimes in DFS, it's really smart to play matchups. So that's what we do. However, don't forget about this one simple fact. You still need your players to be pretty good. 
And the Red Sox and Astros are both teams that maybe aren't in the perfect matchup tonight, but they're actually good hitters, unlike, you know, the Texas Rangers, who are not. And that's where we get to Hunter Renfro, who's got eight extra base hits over his past five games. Yeah, he isn't, like, the best in the bunch, but he's pretty good himself. He's got big power against left-handed pitching. Very affordable. Red hot right now. Even yesterday, the Red Sox offense really did not do anything at all. He came out with an extra base hit. You know, he had, you know, double digits in each of the past five games before that. Just locked in right now. Hit sixth yesterday. I expect him to be right in the middle again today. And he's, like, solidified himself in the Boston lineup against lefties, righties. Doesn't matter. Yeah, he'll all but guaranteed be in the lineup again today. Yeah, I would assume so, at least. Yeah, you know. Again, freaky things happen, but I would bet really good money on this one. So uh, that's what we got for you all today, guys. I told you we'd keep it tight and quick since it's been a longer day of DFS evaluation. We want to wish everybody a best of luck tomorrow, and we'll see you guys tomorrow when we are once again talking about the NBA playoffs and the Major League Baseball regular season. Yep. Thanks, guys.